Hello. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how you can copy or move a folder from one storage to another storage folder in Laravel. So let's say in your storage app public folder, these folders are already created by Laravel by default. We created two folders named folder 1 and folder 2. In folder 1, we have a folder named files and it has some files. Now you want to move the entire files folder with all his files in folder 2. We are going to run the code on the main route. We are going to use Laravel storage class. If you are in a controller, you need to import the class first. But in web routes, we do not need to import this class. First, we are going to get all the files from this folder. So all files are fetched. Now we are going to loop through each file. That's a single file. Then we need to get the content of this file. But in order to get the content of Laravel storage file, we need to access it from the public shortcut path, which is right here. So to change the path, we are going to use another class named str. Again, you have to import it if you are working in the controller, but here import is not required. Then we need to call the function of until the target string. And call replace function. We will replace the public folder 1. Slash at the end. With the public storage folder 1. And save it back in the file variable. So it will become like this. Now we can get the content of the file. So we call the php native function file get contents and pass the path of the file and save it in the variable file content. So this is the content of the file. If you get any error here, you need to run the command php artisan storage colon link at the root of your project. This is the file path. We need to extract the file name from the file path. First, we will split the file path by slash. It will return an array and we need to get the last index of this array. So we will check if the array is not empty. Then we will get the last index of the array. So the length of the array is 5, minus 1 becomes 4. So it will fetch the element at index 4 which is the name of the file. So the file name has been fetched correctly. Now we will set the destination path. It will be in the public folder 2 files in the name of the file.
so come back to the storage folder. Right now, folder 2 does not have a files folder, but it will automatically create one. To save the file, we need to call the storage put method. Pass the destination path and the content of the file. Run it. So you can see the entire folder has been copied. In order to have the move functionality, you simply need to remove the source folder after it has been copied. So after the for each loop, we will call the delete directory method from the storage class. And pass the path of the source folder. Folder 2 is empty and folder 1 has files. After run. Folder 1 becomes empty but now folder 2 has all the files. So that's how you can copy or move an entire folder from one storage to another in Laravel. If you face any problems in following this, kindly do let me know.